so, so, so. If there was a brand that you could see complete potential in, uh, in, in, in the near future, it'd be this one. This brand right now, Aganorsa Leaf, uh, what they're doing, um, their uh, hunger per se, uh, to really push their cigars, um, it makes me feel like, reminds me of like my father's cigars, maybe like, I don't know, five, 10 years ago. And before that, in my younger years, LFD, I remember when they started getting real popular. Uh, Aganor Salif is, um, not that they haven't been around, but they were making a lot of stuff for other people, whatever. Um, and then they started coming out with their, you know, their, their, their cigars, right? I don't know how long, but the bottom line is, I really haven't seen them, whatever they were doing. Up until really recently, maybe the past, I don't know, shit, a few years, not that, maybe two, like not, it's not like I can say, oh, 10 years ago, you know, I was smoking Aganorsa. I, I could have been, but not in name, uh, in tobacco only, which there is a difference. Uh, you know, I know, I think Gurkha and a few other companies contracted cigars through Aganorsa in the past. Um, but anyways, I digress. So this is the Aganorsa Leaf uh, Signature, uh, not the Supreme. This is a Nicaraguan the Puro, that's what I read. And uh, it's a nice presentation, nice size. It is a Toro size in length. It feels like a 40 something though. Maybe 46, maybe less, I don't know. I like the size. The bottom foot is, you know, whatever, it's cool, different. It's all about the cigar. The cigar looks like, almost like a sun-grown Connecticut, meaning picture Connecticut with a little darker spots here and there. That's what it looks like. Um, it is a Nicaraguan Puro. Um, the cigar feels pretty dense, but uh, kind of light for its size. Um, it doesn't have a, a huge substance to it, uh, but uh, it's gonna be all about the flavor. I, I think I've tried this one before. And I, and I can't remember. I'm going to screw that up. I've had the rare, was it the rare leaf, not the supreme leaf. And uh, maybe I had this one. I don't remember. Nice looking cap. Looks, yeah, it's a triple cap. Nice looking stuff going on there. This cigar looks like a nice mid tier cigar. And I, and I don't mean that as an insult. I mean, like a nice mid-tier cigar. Like, like, I know we've been smoking a lot of high-end shit in the past month, but I mean, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with mid-tier brands, mid-tier cigars. Um, some people might like it even more. Uh, good quality, nice band. I got this from the clearance bin, though, and that's not because it's a garbage cigar. This, um... Shit, where did it, yeah. Was it from the clearance bin? Was this one from the clearance bin? I thought it was. It was. Ah, shit. Was it? It was. Last Friday. I didn't smoke this one, wow. So, uh, yeah, I got it from the clearance bin. I forget, seven, eight bucks. It would cost a little more than that, maybe 10 or 11 at your lounge. Maybe more if you're in a really democratic state. The cigar looks nice. The cigar does not have a scary presence. I don't know what they're going for with the cigar, but we'll find out. And the wind's picking up. I can't stress it enough. You should probably be using soft, gentle, heat okay here we go that wind is blowing the match right up my ass
Well, cheers to you, Friday night. And no, Gail Sack, we don't have a show tonight. Every time that I don't have a show, if I'm going to do review or relax, Richie has feelings, I get a message from Sack on uh, YouTube. Hey, bro, uh, we having a lounge? I was going to warm the car up. Uh, and I, bro, what, what do you want a lot? Nobody gets that. What do you want a live feed? Attention, Sack. There's no lounge tonight. It's closed. Man, what do you want on a, on a silver platter? I like this cigar. Mm. All right. Yeah, that's a good cigar. Because I can smell bullshit a mile away. Yep. I like it. I like it. Yep. The cigar had some time on it. How much? I don't know. But you get a lot for your money with Agonorsa Leaf. Uh, they have their own farms and etc. And so um, it's a big company, man. Uh, they have a lot of good tobacco. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Medium strength, but a lot of flavor. Very nutty. Slightly oily, not creamy, more oily. Oily, it feels like when your tongue is up, things are sticking, but oily is like very a mouth-watering feeling. Does that make any sense? It's an oily cigar. That's surprising. It's got a good amount of spice for the, for what it is at medium strength. Quite leathery as well. So, you know, a lot of classic flavors. It's nothing to write home about as far as is it a crazy cigar? Is it real exotic? No, oh, but but the potential's there. The notes you're getting feel of good quality um does it feel harsh no bitter draw is superb quite nutty this cigar not a super dark cigar this is 50 60 percent to darkness quite nutty the spice is picking up we are at medium plus Wow. Finish is pretty long and pretty heavy. So for a cigar that's medium plus right now and 60% of the darkness, you'd say, well, why is that so exciting? It's got a lot of flavor. It is not boring. Um, and the finish, I, I, this is going to pick up. I can tell. I know a winner. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <coughs> Whoa. 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 I was holding the smoke there. And that went to medium to full in one instance. Like, that strength picked up. I like this cigar, man. This cigar wants to be pretty strong. Wow. Wow. Watch out. Uh, not every cigar has to be dark to be strong. Although generally that's what happens. Um, the shade of the wrapper generally dictates the profile of the flavors. But the type of fillers you're using generally dictate how loud it pushes those flavors. That doesn't make any sense. Really? Really? Do you get tons of chocolate and earth off a Connecticut wrapper? Shade? Shade grown? Light wrapper? No. You get that off of Maduro though probably, right? Well, what's the difference? I can take the same filler cigars, use a shade grown, and the other one can uh, a rich connected broad leaf like on a Liga Number no. Nine, and uh, it'd be a big difference. So what? Oh, it's only one wrapper. 
It's like right now wearing a big heavy blue jacket, right? That's the rapper. Right now, if somebody was looking for him, be like, yo, what does this what does this guy look like? Well, he's wearing a black beanie hat. And he's got a big blue jacket. The jacket. Right? They wouldn't be like, so what does this guy look like? Let me tell you something right now. He's got a big dick. A positive blood type. And his last four of his social security. Now, right? So in reality, the outside rapper has the most effect on the cigar as far as what you're gonna taste. I can't stress it enough, but how hard you're gonna taste it. Bingo, that's a little Harvey Weinstein. Let's take it easy with that. But how hard you're gonna taste the cigar is really up to the fillers. And the more the hair and the stronger the fillers and how tobacco is mixed, that's, you know, that's a whole nother thing. But you know, cause you could have a strong cigar, but a short finish. You could have a, a medium strength cigar with a long finish. It's a lot of factors, my friend, but the factors all remain the same. Every cigar has a certain type of strength from zero to sadness. Uh, every cigar has a certain type of darkness. Every cigar has some kind of flavors. And the strength is how loud it's pushing the flavors. Every cigar has some type of finish. How long and how heavy the finish is, right? So, I mean, these are the factors. The factors you can control, how fast or slow you smoke it, how hydrated you are, if you ate, if you're tired, not tired, where you're at. You're gonna taste more flavor when you're by yourself. Ah, bingo, another Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> you're gonna taste more flavors when you're by yourself because you're not getting affected by other people's bullshit, their negativity, their frequencies. People's frequencies affect you, I can't stress it enough. Uh, uh, if they're loud, if they're smoking an acid kuba kuba next to you, and you try to smoke an Opus X, it's gonna ruin your night. I guarantee it. <laughs> wow, black and red pepper really pick it up. Intense, quite interesting cigar. For a cigar that has some time on it, and it did have time. It is really picking up. Now remember those sizes, the blend, this is a skinny size. Maybe 44, maybe 46, maybe it does not feel like a 50. So not an extremely large gauge cigar, but rather long. I like this size. For this kind of blend, I really like the size. Because with, with a lighter shade wrapper like this, um, that smaller size, when you make the hole smaller, Bango, Weinstein, when you make the hole smaller in a cigar, remember the cigar is is also the delivery device, right? Here's a cup of water, here's another cup of water. I could put the same water in it, kind of taste the same. The cup is a delivery device, but the cup, whether it's wider or skinnier, or longer or shorter, it don't change the water, why? Because the water still, when you're drinking it, still stays in liquid form. The tobacco, you're never actually using the tobacco. You're destroying the tobacco via fire and you're channeling the soul of the tobacco through the shape of the cigar. And the larger the shape, the more room that soul has, smoke, and the more room stuff has, the, more, the better it is. Well, not, not the better, better. I'm thinking like I'm in Colorado, I have more space, it's nice. Like if I'm out in New York City, it's cut, everyone's up your ass. You gotta be more intense. What the fuck do you want? And you come out here to Colorado, you're like, yeah, for sure, man. What's up, bro? No bagels, but you know, they got a lot of good Mexican food out here, man. Got the green chili, man. Yeah, stuff is great. For sure, bro. Hey, man, see you at King Supers, man. All right, bro. Cool, man. For sure, cool. We got space, that's what happens. When you give smoke space, it spreads out. It's less intense. I can't stress it enough. So the size is the blend. I don't care if you're using more filler tobacco in a fatter cigar. It's irrelevant. Now the smoke has more room. I can't stress it enough. The cigar is the delivery device. Nobody talks about that in other channels, and I don't care. I'll be the first one, and I've been saying it for fucking years. The size is the blend. And the less room you have, the more concentrated the smoke is. It's common sense. Why no one ever talked about it? 
you know, a lot of guys would say the past and, you know, even myself included before I actually, you know, started the channel. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, the filler tobacco is just the cheaper tobacco. So when you go fatter with it, you know, that, that tobacco just has less flavor. So, you know, and the smaller the cigar, the wrapper just becomes more important. Uh, yeah, it becomes more important. So the wrapper's like, I'm important now. I use Lumi. I don't need a shower. 72 hour. Come on with this bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. All right. If they wanted to end violence in prison, make space. Give the guys so much room. They can't even shank each other. Hey, there's that guy. Doesn't he owe you money? Yeah, but he's too far. How far is he? It's about a good thousand feet. That's far. Wow. You guys have thousand foot jail cells? Yeah. Yeah. That is a big commitment. Yeah. And then after I do it, they're going to know it's me. Because it's a thousand feet to the next room. It's far. The more space, the more chill. I'm really enjoying this cigar. I like the profile. I like the intensity. It's interesting because it's not super dark cigar, but that level of intensity. So it's quite nice. Um, it said in one of the things I read, they were going after the glory years of Cuban cigars in their heyday. I don't know, I wasn't around in 1957. I wasn't. 1957, my dad was four years old and he just moved to New York City from the hills of Italy. It is what it is. I'll be back. So where was I? So the cigar is done. Um, I was uh, smoking the cigar on the roof of the parking garage. And my uh, friend that I know that he uh, takes his dogs up there because the, the open, uh, the, the sixth floor of the parking garage is like a, it's open. You know, there's no roof on that part. And so... He's still covered in snow, so he brings up his four dogs and they're running around. So, yeah, he was drinking a beer. So he's, he's a cool guy. So we're bullshitting, talking. So, anyways, I finished the cigar, and uh, what I think about the cigar, I, I the bottom line is I enjoyed it. So the signature leaf, I would recommend it. I wouldn't put it on my Richie list, but it's a good cigar. A zero through five, I would say it's a solid three point nine. Um, it's enjoyable. Uh, it had good strength for a lighter cigar. So if you're in that kind of mood for 60% darkness, medium to full strength, a long, heavy finish, very nutty, very oily, uh, and a good amount of black pepper and red pepper spice. If you're in that kind of mood, then yeah, I can recommend it. You do what you got to do, right? You do what you got to do. Right, so, so in that case, it's a good mid-tier cigar. So I, yeah, I can also put out some nice stuff. I know recently they changed the, some of their bands for 2022. So you might be thinking of some newer stuff, but a lot of it is they rebranded it. Um, I think I think they took off the Casa Fernand. They basically made the Agonorsa the main thing and they put the larger Agonorsa with the hand with the leaf. So you do what you want. I recommend the brand, uh, uh, you know, it made some, some, good, some good cigars. And that cigar was, um, it was enjoyable. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, break the bank, but it's not going to blow your mind. Uh, but it was enjoyable. And that's where, the bottom line is, that's where the cigar is going to be. So I'll end it with that. I hope you have a good weekend. Hope you stay fresh. Uh, quality soaps, eat prunes, drink uh, filtered water, limit your alcohol content. Um, uh, cigars are cheap. Lawyers are expensive. And there's no prisons in, no, there's no cigars in prison in prison there's no prison in cigars well wow, i'm messing that up but not but maybe not though there's no prison in your cigar um unless you're uh, geo geo's in prison because he has cigars and he doesn't smoke them so fuck you geo i love that guy i bust his balls he's like a little brother to me geo geo doesn't listen but you know he's a funny guy so i wish you well stay chill and get out of here i'll see you around